What are insulators and conductors? By Jessica Pedges. Conductors and how they work. Conductors are materials that electricity can easily pass through. It says electrons just want to be free. Not every material is a good conductor of electricity. The best conductors have electrons that are always ready to escape their atoms. This is what makes copper one of the best conductors. Copper atoms have 29 electrons and one of them is always free. As soon as the power is switched on, the free copper electrons can be directed along a path. They flow through a machine or appliance to make it run. Many homes are strung with copper wiring that delivers electricity to every room. Copper is an excellent conductor. This copper wiring can be used in plumbing, heating, or air conditioning systems in homes. Why are metals good conductors? Most metals are good conductors. Their atoms usually have one electron that can escape easily and start a current. Gold is an excellent conductor. It does not corrode or break down over time. Gold is expensive, however, so it's not practical for use as household wiring. Silver is the best conductor of all the metals, better than copper, but it is also expensive and it can oxidize. That means its chemistry changes when it is exposed to oxygen, which is in air. Silver is sometimes used as a conductor in satellites because there is no oxygen in space to harm the silver. Insulators and how they work. Insulators are materials that electricity cannot pass through. No electron excitement. Unlike conductors, insulators are materials without free electrons. They also resist becoming charged by electrons that are introduced from an outside source, such as a battery or generator. Think of an insulator as a boring party guest. It cannot produce the electron excitement needed to create an electron current. Insulators are useful because they let you touch an electrical appliance without coming into contact with the electrical current that makes them run. Insulators have resistance to electrical current. That means they do not allow electrical current to pass through them. What are some good insulators? Rubber and plastic are two of the best insulators. That is why electrical cords and electrical wiring are covered in the material made of rubber or plastic. Glass and ceramic, which is clay hardened by heat, are also good insulators. You have probably seen utility poles in your neighborhood. They are tall, wooden poles that have wires that stretch to other poles along the street. The next time you see one, look for the bumpy notches near the top. These bumps are insulators. They ensure that electricity does not leak out of the pole and harm people in the environment. Conductors and insulators everywhere. Conductors and insulators make life convenient by providing safe electrical current. It says current events. Electrical current powers all types of home appliances and technology, from electric can openers to televisions. In some appliances, electrical current acts as a heater. For example, the burners on an electric stove conduct electricity in order to heat up. Burners are coils of nichrome made of nickel and chromium. Toasters and hair dryers also use nichrome as a conductor to create heat. Always make sure that you touch electrical appliances where they are insulated. It is safe to turn the plastic knobs on your stove or hold your hair dryer at the base. For safety reasons, you should never touch the electrical elements such as the coils inside a hair dryer when an electric device is running. It says flash fact, the filament or wire in a traditional light bulb is a conductor, but provides more heat than light. That is why traditional light bulbs are not very energy efficient. 
conductors and insulators outdoors. Conductors and insulators help provide electricity in a safe way to your community. Electricity powers the traffic lights, while plastic insulators cover the cables that carry the power. Street lights guide your way, but are well insulated from top to bottom to prevent injury to people and workers. People who work with electricity must wear insulating clothing to protect themselves from electric shock. This clothing must cover the whole body. The buttons must be made of non-conductive material, such as plastic. Protective hats and footwear must also be worn at all times.